when you go to comedy clubs and there's like 50 comics, you have to have something different. That's why I did what I did. It's like, no, someone would do a Michael Jackson joke, and I said, well, I've already done, everyone did a Michael Jackson joke. I'm gonna do a Michael Jackson joke, but I'm gonna have a prop with it. So it still worked because it was a different, but it was the same topics, so. When kids say they wanna be a comic, and they kinda of mean they say, think about being a comedian, I would say, you gotta find what it is that you wanna, what's your voice, what are you gonna talk about? And uh, get a lot of stage time and, and you know, practice it because it's weird, you know, just talking about your life. And that's what, for years now, too, with me, I started slowly talking about my, my father. I don't know if I'm gonna make you cry, I won't talk about it, but. Um, no, talking about, you know, I got a prostate exam issue. It's not, every comic does the joke about it, but it's like fucking so uncomfortable to get this. And so, the only reason I don't do it in the show, because every comic in the world has done this, hey, I got a prostate, you stick it in the ass, but I think last night I did like 15 minutes on it, and it was only funny because it just happened. Not like right there on stage, but it happened about an hour before I got here. And it was, uh, it was really funny because I was just telling a story, and it was really, I've never been that most comfortable telling a story. Unfortunately, it had been about having a finger in my ass, but it was a great story. And, uh, but that's, that's, it all comes from that. Your, your whole platform is what, what you, uh, what, what you're doing in life and how you, how you present it. And he presents it in a brilliant way. It's just funny, like, I, I love com comedy like that because I don't do it. I, I, I really respect when I can watch him for an hour tell a story and tell a whole thing. And I didn't really grow up, I wasn't in that era. I'm a lot younger than Bobby Slayton. So I, uh, I, uh, I didn't really work in the clubs when he was doing the clubs. We just met, like I said, out of, out of the blue, uh, maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago. And it was, um, it was right when I was, doing, I was doing all this stuff and he was just like, what the fuck is this carrot top dude? He's really not happy about it. And I told him, I said, I'm not either, okay? I'm not happy about any of this either, but Let's just talk it out, you know? And I knew that he was a good guy, and I knew that he liked me, and I knew there was something there. Like now when we talk, you can tell that he genuinely likes me. I just haven't figured out why.